Welcome to Five Good Minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the fruit of the Spirit with Jake Williams. This week on Five Good Minutes, we will be discussing the topic of love. Love is an essential and central theme in the Bible as a whole. And to set up this paramount topic, we will be looking at what Scripture says about how God loves you. We'll be doing this in the form of a letter from God to you. Each one of these astounding statements comes directly from God's word. I encourage you to listen to this letter as if God himself is writing it to you. You may not know me, but I know everything about you. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. I am familiar with all your ways. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. For you were made in my image. In me you live and move and have your being. For you are my offspring. I knew you before you were conceived. I chose you when I planned creation. You were not a mistake. For all your days are written in my book. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. I knit you together in your mother's womb, and I brought you forth on the day you were born. I have been misrepresented by those who don't know me. I am not distant and angry, but am the complete expression of love. And it is my desire to lavish my love on you, simply because you are my child and I am your father. I offer you more than your earthly father could ever, for I am the perfect father. Every good gift that you receive comes from my hand, for I am your provider and I meet all your needs. My plan for your future has always been filled with hope because I love you with an everlasting love. My thoughts toward you are countless as the sand on the seashore, and I rejoice over you with singing. I will never stop doing good to you, for you are my treasured possession. I desire to establish you with my heart and all my soul. And I want to show you great and marvelous things. If you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. Delight in me, and I will give you the desires of your heart. For it is I who gave you those desires. I am able to do more for you than you could possibly imagine. For I am your greatest encourager. I am also the Father who comforts you in all your troubles. When you are brokenhearted, I am close to you. As a shepherd carries a lamb, I have carried you close to my heart. One day, I will wipe away every tear from your eyes, and I'll take away all the pain you have suffered on this earth. I am your Father, and I love you even as I love my Son, Jesus. For in Jesus, my love for you is revealed. He is the exact representation of my being. He came to demonstrate that I am for you, not against you, and to tell you that I am not counting your sins. Jesus died so that you and I could be reconciled. His death was the ultimate expression of my love for you. I gave up everything I loved that I might gain your love. If you receive the gift of my son Jesus, You receive me, and nothing will ever separate you from my love again. Come home, and I'll throw the biggest party heaven has ever seen. I have always been father, and will always be father. My question is, will you be my child? I am waiting for you. Love, your father, almighty God. I pray that this letter gave you a taste of the powerful and transformative nature of God's love for you. If you would like to see this letter and the scriptural references associated with it, 
please see the link in the description. This is also a great letter to send and share with others. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we zoom in on one more specific text from Scripture about this wonderful topic, love. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day. 